Aladdin short video game review, 1994. This follows the story of the street boy Aladdin, who has to steal in order to eat. He's tricked by the Grand Vizier Jafar, who wants him to get a magic lamp for him so that he can use it to usurp the throne from the dim-witted Sultan. Along the way, Aladdin falls for Jasmine, although in this retelling of the story it's not entirely clear why. Parts of the story were cut or, you know, some elaborated upon, depending on what made for good video game levels and what really didn't. This is one of those really few licensed video games that actually do not suck. This and TMNT tend to be the examples that I use of such, you know, exceptions to that rule. It's got very much the same style of animation and the movements of you know the various characters really feel natural to them. I've heard that they actually use the same animators from the film to animate the game or at least parts of it which I would definitely say shows. The most of the enemies are taken directly from the film, some of them weren't actually enemies in the film, but you know, you can recognize a lot of the film in the game, and it really feels like you are playing the film when you play this game. It's relatively short, at an hour and an hour and a half, and it doesn't have an awful lot of replayability, although it is addictive. The replayability comes from there being three different difficulty settings, which should also help allow even you know both newcomers and you know, veterans of video games to come to this game and be challenged. And then there's a high score, although it's not that difficult to top it. Because it does kind of have a top, which is annoying. The sound and music are pretty good, considering the time. The music is all MIDI versions of the actual score from the film, just obviously with no singing. The basic atmosphere and gameplay is very close to that of the film. The gameplay is 2D platformer action game and you're running around hacking and slashing with Aladdin's sword that he doesn't actually get until pretty late in the film and throwing apples for some reason. I, they needed a projectile weapon, that's basically it. Yeah, that pretty well covers it. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below. It's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.